Adding your local business to Google Maps with a Google My Business listing allows you to drive more phone calls, website traffic, bookings, and foot traffic to your local business. This is one of the most important online activities for local small business in 2021. Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well and thank you for joining me in this updated Google My Business tutorial. Now today I'm excited to share with you the step-by-step -step process of adding your local business to Google Maps. I'll also share vital tips to helping you make the most of your Google My Business listing in 2021. Okay guys, now just quickly, before I guide you through this process, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online in 2021. And with that out of the way, let's jump over to my computer and let's sign up to Google My Business. <music> Okay, so here we are at google.com forward slash business. Now this is where we can go ahead and sign up to a Google My Business listing. And what this does is it allows you to put your local business on Google Maps and Google Search. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, this allows you to drive more leads, sales, foot traffic, website traffic, and essentially allows you to increase your online exposure, which will ultimately help your customers find your business online. This is one of, if not the most important online asset that you can have for your local business. And right now, one of the best things about Google My Business is that it is completely free to sign up and start managing your Google My Business listing. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through the Google My Business sign up process. So first, what you want to do, like I mentioned at the beginning, is head over to google.com forward slash business and you'll arrive at this dashboard. Then just navigate down to manage now. Then here under find and manage your business, you can go ahead and type in your business name and identify if your business is already located on Google Maps, if it already has a listing. If it does, you can go ahead and claim that listing. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we already know that our business does not exist on Google Maps. We do not have a Google My Business listing. So what we're going to do is click add your business to Google. Then up here, all you need to do is add your business name. Okay, now it's important to note that your business name needs to be exactly how it appears across the internet. So your exact business name, you want to add that here. Don't add additional keywords like the location of your business. For example, Stew's Cafe, New York City. You want to make it exactly the same name that appears on all your other assets online. For example, your online directories, it could be your social media platforms, and even your physical marketing material. You want to make sure that your business name is exactly how it appears across the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and click Stew's Cafe. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and name this business Stew's Cafe. Then once you've named your business, come down and click Next. Here, what you want to do is navigate up to business category and add the business category that best represents your business. So for us, we're going to type in cafe and you can see we have multiple options down here. We're just going to go ahead and click cafe and then navigate down here to next. Now, before we go ahead and click next, it's important to note that you can change your business category later once your Google My Business has been verified. You can also add additional categories later down the track. So for now, we're going to go ahead and click next. Then here, Google will ask if you want to add a location to your listing. Now, this allows customers to find your location, find your business, shop, office, and then be able to navigate to your business. Essentially, this puts your physical business location on Google Maps and search so visitors can locate your business. Because we're a cafe, we're going to go ahead and click yes. However, on the other hand, if you're a local service-based business or product-based business and you deliver your services or products to your customers and they don't actually need to visit your store or you don't want customers visiting your physical location, then you can come down here and click no. However, even if you do deliver your services or products to your customers, I would still recommend you add a physical location and select yes, because what this is going to do is in the eyes of your customers, 
This is going to give you more authority. People are going to locate exactly where your business is, know that you're a real business, and then get in contact with your business. We find that the majority of customers like to see a physical location for their local business that they like to shop at, whether it's a service or product based business. So go ahead and click yes or no if you really do not want to show your location on Google Maps, then come down and click next. And here all you need to do is simply add the physical address of your local business. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And then once you've added your physical business address, come down and click next. Then here Google will identify if your business might already have a listing on Google search or Google Maps. This means that your listing might already have a Google My Business listing. Now as you can see there are three local cafes that are near the address that I added earlier. However, none of these are my business. If you can see your business here, that means you already have a listing and you just need to click on that listing and Google will take you through that process of claiming and optimizing your listing. However, we can't see our business here. So we're going to navigate down here and click none of these and come down here and select next. And here, what you want to do is drag this pin and make sure that it's exactly where your business is located. If the pin is already in the right location, then you can come down and click next. You can also zoom in and zoom out to get more of an accurate movement with the pin to the exact location of your business. And if you're happy with your location, come down and click next. Then here, Google will ask if you also serve customers outside of this physical business location that you added earlier. For example, if you visit or deliver to your customers, you can let them know where you are willing to go. So again, if you visit your customers, if you deliver products or services to your customers, and it's outside of this location that you've added, you can go ahead and click. Yes, I also serve them outside my location. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, because we're a cafe and we don't service outside our location, our visitors come to us and we don't deliver or send any products or services, we're going to go ahead and click no, I don't, and then click next. Next, Google will ask, what contact details do you want to show to customers? Now, this information is optional. However, I recommend that you add a phone number here to help your customers get in contact with you and then add a website URL. Basically, you want to drive leads and bookings. You want people to contact your business. Therefore, you want to add a contact number. And if you have a website with a booking page and other additional information about your business, then you want to add your website down here. Now, one of the great things about Google My Business is they have a website builder, which means they can automatically use the information that you've entered into your Google My Business listing and automatically create a website for your business. Now, this is a very basic website. However, it is sufficient if you do not have a website. And all you need to do is navigate down here to get a free website based on your info. Again, this is a basic website that works well in the interim while you're building a proper website for your local business. However, we already have a website, so we're gonna go ahead and add our website in here, and then we're gonna add our contact phone number. Also, down here you have the option to select I don't need a website. However, if you're a local business, it is highly recommended that you do have a website of some form. So go ahead and select get a free website or you can go ahead and add your current website in here. So once you've added all this additional information to help your customers identify and get in contact with your business, come down and click next. And congratulations, just like that, you have completed the initial setup of your Google My Business listing. So what you want to do now is navigate down here and click finish. Okay, now before your Google My Business listing is live and before your local business is active on Google Maps and Google Search, we need to verify our Google My Business listing to verify that we own this address, that our business is actually located at this physical address. To do that, you can see that we only have one option and that is by postcard. And this can take up to 15 days. So from now, before you're verified, it is a waiting game. You will receive a postcard in the mail and all you need to do when that arrives is head back over to your Google My Business listing and just click verify. And then you'll be asked to add the digits from that postcode and that's gonna verify your listing. 
And once you've done that, your local business will be live online. Now, if we come down here, you sometimes have other options to verify depending on the nature of your business or what Google believes your business is. You might have the option for a phone call verification. If so, then I recommend doing the phone call verification as it's a lot faster method to verify your Google My Business listing. So go ahead and add your contact name in here. It could be yourself or whoever checks the post often. Then navigate over here and click post. So remember, it is a waiting game to be verified with your Google My Business listing. So keep an eye out for the postcard. Okay, now once your Google My Business is verified and your local business can be found on Google Maps and Google Search, then what you wanna do is start managing and optimizing your Google My Business listing. So to do that, all you need to do is navigate over to your Google My Business listing and come down and select home. Again, down here is where you can go ahead and verify your listing once you receive the postcard in the mail. The first thing we wanna do once we're verified is navigate over to info. And under info, you wanna make sure that all this information is correct. So go through all this information and make sure each section is completed. So you wanna make sure all your business information is correct. You can add additional service areas here, add your hours, come down and add a menu. You can also come down and add a business description. This is very important to help Google identify keywords in your business, to identify what your business is all about when people are searching for your business type. So add a good description under business description. Then we can also come down to add photos or we can navigate over to the left hand bar and click photos. And under photos, this is where you can go ahead and navigate through all these different sections and add the photos based on each of these sections. Now what this is gonna do is help Google again identify your business and it's also gonna help customers see what your business is like, see the environment, internal, exterior, interior, the food that you're providing, the services, the products, add as many photos about your business as you can. And this just helps you showcase your business. So you can come down here and add photos based on the sections that are provided, or you can navigate up here and click add photo. Again, it also pays to add a video. Now, like I mentioned before, you can manage your website. And under website, this is where you can manage your Google My Business website. So this is if you opt in for a website with Google and you don't have your own website then what you can do here is actually look at your website and you can customize the theme, you can edit some of the text elements, and you can add more photos. So as you can see, this is a basic one page website for your local business if you don't already have a website. And you can see some important call to action buttons up here. This is one of the most basic website builders. This is great for the interim while you're building or saving to invest into a proper comprehensive website. Then just quickly, we have a users tab. This allows you to add other users to help you manage your Google My Business listing. Then we have messages. You can actually download the application, the Google My Business app on your phone and start managing messages that are coming from your listing. Then we also have reviews. People can leave reviews once they've arrived at your location. What Google is going to do is pick up your location when a customer walks into your shop and they will get prompted to leave a review or you can incentivize your customers to leave a review. And this is where you can manage your reviews and reply to reviews. Then we have the menu up here, which is where you can add your menu items. And last but not least, we have posts. And here, when your business and listing is verified, what you can do is create a post. This is similar to social media when you're updating your customers, your followers, about what's happening within your business. Again, you can do the same across here. You can add this update, you can add an offer, a generic update, or you can add an event. Now, depending on the nature of your business, you wanna create at least one post per week. If you can create multiple posts per week, that's gonna be even better. But remember, each post lasts seven days. So you wanna create an update post once per week. And you can do that here. Now that is a brief overview of how you can get started with Google My Business. Now what I'll do is add a link up above which will take you to a more comprehensive guide to fully optimizing your Google My Business listing for search engines so that you can rank higher than your competition with your Google My Business listing. So feel free to watch that tutorial if you want a more comprehensive overview of how to optimize your Google My Business listing. 
And that is it team for today's brief tutorial, helping you add your local business to Google Maps and get started with Google My Business. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this Google My Business tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.